How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to attempt number 327 of me doing this bloody commentary all because I don't know how to pronounce his name lads. <laughs> I've got no idea how to pronounce his name. I think it is Hakan Kal Hanoglu. If I get that wrong, I apologise to all my Turkish subscribers and viewers. But um, yeah, I do think that's how it's pronounced. I've said it that many bloody times. If you do want some coins, head over to FIFAninja.com. Use that code M89 to get yourself 5% off everything that you will need is in that description below now his minimum price is 15,000 coins on both the Xbox and PlayStation and his maximum is 30 in terms of mental and physical tributes I mean there's not too much to sing and dance about 51 aggression 52 strength 77 acceleration 80 agility 78 balance and 74 sprint speed skill attributes is where this card comes into its own 89 curve 80 dribble and 93 kick accuracy 86 long shots and 90 Short power, 79 short passing as well. Honestly, this guy's passing is on point every single time. It's so damn accurate. Five star skills. Five star skills? I bloody wish. Honestly, I told you I'm going insane. Five star weak foot, four star skills, and the guy can do stuff like that. That is just nonchalant there from Hakan Kal and Oglu. But uh, yeah, medium to medium work rates. And in terms of pros, free kicks. This guy is a pro at free kicks. He's a Turkish David Beckham. I don't know too much about him in real life. I don't know if he gets compared to David Beckham, but on this game, he is the Turkish David Beckham. He's so good at free kicks. He's so good at long shots. And he's so good at passing. He's just got all the attributes to be a David Beckham on this game. His long shots, fantastic. It's got the power. It's got the curve. It's got everything needed. It's got the dip. It's honestly, it's got everything needed. Now, I started him as a central cam. He played well there. Don't get me wrong. And then I switched him into a 4 triple 2 wide cam from the right-hand side. Then I hit it with the outside of his boot. Lads, it's magical. It is so good to hit the ball with the outside of the boot with Hakan Kalhanoglu. It's just great. Honestly, it's great. He's passing, like I said at the start, it's on point all the time. His dribbling is great. His close control plays a major part in that. His ball control, his agility plays a part. His balance plays a part. His curve is fantastic. And his shot power, I mean 90 shot power. This guy has a Van Persie-esque shot on him. But in terms of cons, strength, it's not good, lads. It really isn't. He's so damn weak. In the central cam spot where I did play him, he got bullied. He was like a little kid in a playground. Ginger, glasses, freckles, two foot tall, basically a gnome. He was like a gnome in the playground. He was getting kicked about everywhere. I mean, absolutely everywhere. By DMs, by centre-backs. He was just getting bullied out of position. So in terms of strength, it's not good, lads. It really isn't good. And pace-wise, he's slow. He doesn't. He's like an engine that doesn't really want to start. He gets going, but he doesn't really get, get going, if you know what I mean. So in all in all, he's a good midfielder. He's a good calm. So he's getting a rating of 7.6. Is he better than De Bruyne? No. Is he better than Mictarian? No. He's not that good, but he is a good cam on this game. Lads, if you have enjoyed this review, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, I will catch you all next time.